Elon Musk once said, the person I most want to surpass in my life is my mother, May Musk. In your impression, how would a 69-year-old woman who has had three children look? Perhaps with graying hair and a slightly fuller figure. However, this woman is enough to redefine your understanding of the elderly. Meet May Musk, who dared to appear fully nude at the age of 60 on the cover of Time magazine, dominating the screens at Times Square. May Musk faced adversity at the age of 22, marrying the wrong person and enduring nine years of hardship. At 31, she divorced, leaving with three children and starting anew. Working five jobs a day, she traveled through three countries and nine cities, eventually earning two master's degrees in nutrition. During their childhood, her three children could only afford cheap peanut butter sandwiches and bean soup. However, they were all nurtured into millionaire entrepreneurs by her. One of them is the world's richest person, Elon Musk. At 69, May Musk, with her gray and white hair, can outshine models in their 20s, captivating the world as she dominates Times Square. She has shown us with her life that if you refuse to limit yourself, the road ahead is destined to become clearer with time. Now, let's take a look at how May Musk emerged from an unfortunate marriage and cultivated three billionaires. First, let me provide some background information about the situation in South Africa at that time. In South Africa, if the girl's parents agreed, she was supposed to marry the man. Men having authority over women was considered normal, and there was no legal or public protection. Domestic violence couldn't even be a basis for divorce, and there were no successful precedents. Therefore, May's ex-boyfriend lied to May's parents, claiming that she had agreed to his proposal. A month later, he became May's legal husband. During the honeymoon, he began mistreating May. Even during her pregnancy, May had to endure numerous abuses daily and, while pregnant, carry construction materials, build a new house, squat to tile bathroom walls, and even paint during contractions. After nine years of marriage, May endured a further two years of being cut off from her family. In 1979, South Africa passed the Irretrievable Breakdown of Marriage Act, allowing unilateral divorce. This provided May with a glimmer of hope. At the age of 31, she decisively ended this failed marriage, pushing away the identity of a submissive wife and rebuilding her life. To force May back, her ex-husband used all means, even suing her repeatedly for 10 years. He spent all of May's savings. However, May chose to move alone with her three children to Durban, South Africa, even if it meant moving to smaller apartments, living together in one bedroom, and eating cheap peanut butter sandwiches. She never considered returning to her previous life because poverty and loneliness were preferable to fear. After the divorce, like many single mothers, she had to simultaneously take care of her children and work to support the family. Since high school, she was a science enthusiast, and she majored in nutrition in college. After the divorce, she started working as a private nutritionist from home to take care of her children. The story of May's resurgence has occurred several times in her life. Every time she established herself as a top nutritionist after struggling in the local industry, she had to start from scratch in a new environment for various reasons. Each time, she had to begin anew, even retaking language exams, and her financial situation often reset. After her divorce, May resumed her university profession as a nutritionist. She devoted all her time, aside from caring for her children, to work, gradually creating her own business. She chose not to remarry and not rely on a man, yet she managed to organize the lives of her family of four efficiently. In 1989, her eldest son Elon graduated from high school and decided to study in Canada. At the age of 41, May faced another crossroads in life. She had to choose between providing her three children with a better education, abandoning her matured career in South Africa, and starting from scratch in Canada, or continuing her existing stable life. May once again chose the former. A single mother in her 40s, with three children, moved overseas to start a new life. This was the most challenging time in May's life. Due to her assets being frozen in South Africa, they could only afford to live in a small, cheap apartment. They had no furniture except for a bed. It took them three weeks to remove all the nails from the floor and clean the peeling wallpaper from the walls. To support her family, May had to work five jobs simultaneously. May secured a job as a researcher at the University of Toronto, with no salary but the opportunity for her children to attend school for free. She worked as a temporary worker at a modeling agency, being on call to seize every opportunity. She also taught modeling and nutrition training classes weekly. Despite all this, she managed to find an office space to start her own nutritionist studio. May still attended six classes per week because her nutritionist qualification from South Africa was not recognized in Canada, so she had to relearn and obtain Canadian registration. 
During this toughest period, Mei had no time to complain. She worked even harder because she had no other choice, and she was the sole emotional support for her three children. With her first earnings, she bought an expensive carpet for the family, so her children wouldn't have to sit on the cold floor every day. With her second earnings, she bought a computer for Elon, who had shown programming talent from a young age. He sat on that carpet, typing on the computer, opening a window to the future world. By the age of 12, Elon was already a computer genius. May's days gradually improved. She obtained Canadian registration as a nutritionist, and her studio gained regular clients. Her modeling career flourished, with constant advertising invitations. One by one, her children went to college. After falling into an unprecedented low, they finally bounced back. In order to provide their children with better education, the entire family moved to Canada. Even when there were concerns about having enough to eat, May prioritized using the saved money to buy computers for her children. From these two aspects, it's evident that May is not an ordinary mother. During the most challenging times for the family, May wasn't the only one struggling. Each child was her comrade. Elon found a job at Microsoft before going to college. The youngest daughter, Tosca, worked at a grocery store every day after school to earn money. May wasn't overly protective of her children, she believed they should take responsibility for themselves. Later, Elon, the eldest son, got admitted to Stanford for a PhD but dropped out after a few days to pursue entrepreneurship in Silicon Valley. May didn't scold him, instead, she encouraged her younger son, Kimball, to join his brother in the venture. In 1995, the brothers founded a company in Silicon Valley called Zip2, a city guide company providing business directories and maps for e-commerce clients, somewhat like a combination of Google Reviews and Google Maps. At that time, Google hadn't been created in the United States yet. When Zip2 was founded, Elon was 24, and Kimball was 23. At that time, May's nutritionist business was just taking off, and she contributed her entire savings of $10,000 to help her sons pay office rent. For the next three years, May led a busy life, managing her business in Canada on weekdays and flying to Silicon Valley on weekends to help her sons with their company. She handled everything from managing interns, settling office expenses, and handling daily administrative affairs to purchasing food, clothes, and furniture for them. Despite the exhausting times, May retrospectively found it wonderfully fulfilling. Every member of the family was striving for their dreams, creating a scene of magnificent ambition. At the age of 50, May made another significant decision, ending her career as a nutritionist and model in Canada to move to San Francisco and live with her children. Despite being at an age when retirement is an option, May chose to start afresh, re-establishing her modeling career in the United States and obtaining certification as a registered dietitian in the U.S. She became the only nutritionist globally to pass registration exams in three different countries. In 2006, she received the Outstanding Entrepreneur of the Year Award from the American Dietetic Association. Regardless of time or place, May never relied on others for her life. She maintained independence in both her career and spirit. Later, Zip2 was acquired by Compaq for $300 million, and Elon and Kimball started their own ventures. With her sons now mature, May stepped back from their companies and moved from Silicon Valley to fulfill her dream in the fashion capital, New York. Fully immersed in her career, May maintained a clear schedule, dedicating herself to various activities. Now, May has three outstanding children Elon, the CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, and several other great companies, renowned in the tech world as a genius, Kimball, the founder of The Kitchen, a large-scale green and sustainable restaurant, and Tosca, a well-known Hollywood director and film producer. May continued her cherished careers as a nutritionist and model, becoming an author, speaker, and globetrotting for magazine shoots, endorsements, and even appearing in Beyoncé's music video. Challenging societal biases, she continuously stepped out of her comfort zone, resetting her life several times, creating miracles in both prosperous and challenging times. May, regardless of age or circumstance, has consistently approached life with 100% passion, defying societal norms, creating miracles, and never giving up on herself. As she once said, the best time is now. This mother and son share a common temperament, never giving up, always challenging themselves, and believing that living fully repays those who give their all. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.